Hello everyone. When we talk about two triangles being similar, we are now assured that all the corresponding angles are actually congruent. But more or less, we are not anymore that very concerned on the, what the angles are. We are now more concerned on the corresponding sides. And then again, if we talk about triangle similarity, the corresponding sides are considered to be proportional. One thing you need to follow here and you need to remember is how to determine corresponding parts. Let's look at the items here. For item number one, we are already given that triangle SUM is similar. That's a symbol for triangle, uh, tr similar to triangle ONE. Okay? Look at the given figures. Some of you might get confused with that. And confusion might lead to difficulty in solving the problems. But simply look at the given notation for similarity. When you say triangle SUM is similar to triangle ONE, the vertices are already arranged in such a way that they declare similarity. So that the vertices of the triangles are already representing the corresponding angles. And for the sides, we could come up with the ratio or the rather, we come up with the proportion now of the sides using this. Since we are now assured that the two triangles here for number one and even with number two are already similar, we could come up with the proportion for the sides. SU over its corresponding side, ON, must be equal to SM to UM. M, over NE and equal to SM over OE. These are three ratios. These three ratios of sides or correspond pairs of corresponding sides should have the same ratio for us to retain this proportion. Okay. By looking at this, it would be easier for us to plot the values rather than just simply looking at the figure here that, again, might confuse us later on, okay? So let's try to input the values here. So for SU, this one, that's 10 over ON, which is Y, over UM, which is X, over NE, which is 56. By the way, before I continue, Please do not forget that when you talk about um, the sides O N N E O E even S U U M and S M, you might you may interchange the vertices and they mean the same side, okay? But you just need to arrange them in this way so that this we will not have any more difficulty later on. And this is finally equal to S M, which is twelve, and O E, which is forty. And then we can solve here the, var the values of the unknown using the fundamental law of proportion. But you need to determine first which to be paired. Of course, we cannot pair the first two ratios since we will just be uh, mixing two different variables into one uh, equation. Rather, let's try to combine these two. But we can only have one variable. So you could actually cost multiply that and you will have 42x is equal to 56 times 12. 56 times 12 is very large. I could suggest you to, simp to simplify 12 over 42, if you can, by probably two over seven, okay, to make it easier for you, but you could also use this, okay? We will just have a, lar a large value, but nevertheless, we'll have, the, we'll have the same result later on. Must have the same result. So you have 42x is equal to 56 times 12, if you have your calculators there, equal to 672. Divide by 42, both sides. To cancel that out, 672 divided by 42 is equal to 16. Okay, we can check this later together with the value of y. Do not rush things up, Pumuna. 
Now, we could actually use this and have this substituted here so that we could actually solve for y using this pair, okay? But if there is a possibility, if, if there is a chance that you may not use this value, please use that a possibility because there might be chances wherein our first solution here is incorrect. And once you use this incorrect value to solve for the next unknown, definitely that ne next unknown will also create a incorrect value. So to um, lessen the possibility of incorrect uh, solutions, we may just simply pair this and this ratio here. Okay. But again, if there are no other possibility to use the value of x, which is 16, you may opt as long as please make sure that your solution here will really satisfy the given situation. So let's pair na lang muna ito. So you will have here 10 over y is equal to 12 over 42. Again, you may try to simplify this, but still, we can still compute this even if it's large. After all, you're at home and you may use calculators. So divide both sides by 12 okay, to remove that. And you will have 420 divided by 12, which is actually equal to 35. Okay, that's the value for y. Now, to make sure that your results or your answers are really correct, you may use to these values here together with the given values in number one to check whether answers are correct or not. In checking here, all the three corresponding pairs of corresponding parts must have must result to the same ratio. That's right. 10 over y, which is 35, must be equal to x 16 over 56 and must be equal to 12 over 42. Here, it doesn't necessarily say that when this is correct, that's everything is correct already. It must be both of or all of the the, the, relation, the ratios here are the same. So 10 over 35 by 5, so that's five, 2 over 7. By 8, you have 2 sevens. And earlier, I already mentioned this, by 6, 2 sevens. Since they resulted to the same ratio, that would mean these two values here are actually correct. And two sevens here are what we call as the ratio of similarity. Okay, Ratio of similarity only comes in if we are sure that all the values are correct. Okay, Definitely, if this is two sevens, that's two sevens. And if this is three sevens, everything would be wrong. Let's use the same concern as we go to number two. For number two, we already given, given with the situation AW, or you could say awesome. Here, someone. Here, awesome. Just a play of words. So you have awesome. So let's try to come up with the, the situation here. So you have A, sorry, AW over ZO is equal to. A portion of the sides, you have WE over OM is equal to, you have AE over ZM. By the way, this is awesome again. This is not my uh, original uh, pun. I would like to credit this to one of my classmates in high school, Mr. Kenny Vaughn. Okay. So, this is not mine. This is, this is his, his style. Awesome. Okay. Anyway, so you have here these values and substitute here in the given. AW is X over ZO. That's not 20. That's ZO4 is equal to WE is Y over OM, which is 12. And it's equal to um, AE, which is 16 and over uh, ZM, which is X. However, when you look at this, even if you will pair this or the next, or even the last, that the outside expressions, 
you will just be dealing with variables, okay? But let me repeat, even if you will try, but if you will try the first and the last uh, ratio, yes, you will have variables, but of the same variable x. Let's pair them, and then you will have this expression here. x over 4 is equal to 16 over x. Though we have two variables, but of the same variable, it will become x squared is equal to 4 times 16, which is 64. Take the root of both sides. You will have here x is equal to positive and negative 8. If you're going to check this using positive 8, 8 over 4, which is 2, 16 over 8 is also 2. That's correct. If you will try negative 2, negative 2 over 4, I'm sorry, right? negative 8 rather. Negative 8 over 4 is negative 2. 16 over negative 8 is also negative 2. Still correct. However, take a look at this given and please remember, please be guided, that we are now solving for measurements of sides. And definitely, if we talk about measurements of sides, there are no negative measurements. We cannot accept here anymore the negative value of 8. So what we could accept is only the positive value of 8. Okay, so we are going to accept only the positive value. Early, earlier, rather, I have mentioned that when you solve for the value of y here, if it's possible not to use 16 for x, and we actually did come up with that situation, we use that because there might be instances wherein the first solution is incorrect. However, if we're going to number, number 2, if you're not going to use this value 8, there's no other ratio that can, could be paired with the ratio containing the variable y. So this is the time that we will use it. But make sure that your answer is really correct first. We will try here, 8. You may pair this. You may pair the other. But let's just use the first two. And this would become x over, let me just copy first, y over 12. And we all know that x is positive 8, not negative 8 over 4. You have y over 12. I could simplify that, but let's just simply continue. 8 times a 12 is 96, if I'm correct. Sorry for that. And you have 4y. Okay? And divide both sides by 4. You will get y equal to 24 y is equal to 24. So let's try to check whether our answers are really correct or acceptable or not using the given equation. AW, oh, let's use checking, checking. AW, which is x is 8, again, positive 8 over 4, question mark. y is 24 over 12, question mark. 16 over x again, which is 8. By the way, if you again will use negative 8 here, definitely you will have negative 24. And it still could satisfy the given proportion. But then again, final reminder, measurement of sides does not need negative measurements, only positive. 8 over 4 is 2. 24 over 12 is 2. So they are now the same. And 16 over 8 is also 2. We have the same ratio of similarity, which is 2 or 2 over 1. That would mean the results for x, which is 8, and y, which is 24, are already acceptable and correct. So this is now the application of our review when we talked about the ratio and proportion on the first video of this grading, because they, it, they are actually be used here. But just for reference, again, we will not use, we will not be accepting negative values for measurements anymore. Okay. We will still have more videos coming soon, so please stay tuned. Thank you. Goodbye.